My name is Caldwell Shine, and this is Ask a Developer. Our first question is from Mark. Mark would like to know, what are the best beginner and intermediate tutorials for Android development? That's another great question. There's two books that I'd like to recommend to you to check out. One of them is by Mark Murphy over at Commonsware. He writes a great book for Android. I believe it's called The Busy Coder's Guide to Android Development. There's another book that is written by the Big Nerd Ranch that I'd also like to recommend that you check out. It's really important to have good resources to refer to when you're trying to learn a new platform. The book from Mark Murphy, I think, is a little bit more feature-driven. It tends to talk about things such as the camera, or maps, or video and audio processing, kind of in terms of features that you might like to implement into an app. The other book, by Big Nerd Ranch, is a bit more of an onboarding guide. So, depending on what your preference is, check out both of those books. Once you decide which book that you would like to purchase, I think you ought to set a few goals. First goal should be to get Hello World working for your Android app. It's the first thing that almost every developer does whenever they're taking on the learning of a new platform. The second goal that I'd like to suggest is for you to peruse through all of the Google Play apps that are available and to find an app that you think looks great. Take a look at the screenshots that are there and when you find one, attempt to build one of the screens for that app on your own. The last goal that I would like to recommend is that you build a geofencing app. So what you could do is establish a geofence maybe about two blocks away from where you live and code the app so that when you enter and exit the geofence, the app lets you know that you've done so. I think it's really cool that you're interested in the Android platform. If you can, try to find some other folks who are also interested in the platform so that y'all can geek out together and build something cool. The next question is from Ebenabo. Ebenabo would like to know, how do you root an Android phone? This is a fun and controversial topic. It's controversial because you may not own your phone. If you're involved in a contract with your carrier, the carrier may actually own the phone, so rooting it may void your warranty. It might also break the phone. It's something else you need to be careful about. But let's get to the fun part. So now you may want to ask yourself the question, why do you want to root your phone? Sometimes it's just cool to say, I rooted my phone. If you're a developer, you may need to root your phone so that you have access to the file system so that you can get your job done. The next thing you want to do is go and research the topic and make sure you fully understand what rooting means. A great resource for learning about this is XDA Developer's website. Go out there and take a look at the articles and you can learn more about rooting and then when you're ready to root your phone, XDA will show you how to do it. Last thing that I would recommend is make sure that when you root a phone, use a test device because if you brick it, then you won't be able to take a call from mom. That's it for Ask a Developer. If you have any questions, tweet them over to hashtag AskADev or leave them in the comments.